on Chad Friendly Edition. What you appreciate most in men? Basic human decency and respect something this board seems to struggle with. Self-righteous tonight aren't we? Those hostilities aren't even undertones at this point. BTW you've insulted me personally almost every time I contribute to your threads. I think it's funny that you just swing the scythe broadly out the gate at the entire community. Maybe you should find a hobby that relaxes you or a social activity where you're not exposed to a group of people you can't handle. When they treat me like a human and an individual, instead of a sexual object or a punch bag for all the women who did them wrong. Someone who's good at making me feel listened to. Not just brushing things off in agreement or giving an opinion when it's not wanted. Someone W asterisk ally makes me feel listened to when I need to talk about something. Someone I can rely on too. If I need help with something I want to be able to go to you and know you will support me. I want to know you have my back and that you're competent, caring, and collected enough to s asterisk me in anything that comes up. Those are both really important to me. Quote, but he has to magically know the difference between when to listen and when to agree or give an opinion. Read up about active listening, give opinions when asked for opinions, not magical basic social skills. So you just want a yes man who will nod his head, say yes, aha and I hear you. Get a parrot lady, or some cats. That's not what active listening is. Read about active listening, and no, I appreciate getting opinions which is why I ask for them. I don't appreciate getting unsolicited opinions or obvious ill-informed advice. No, that's not what I want. As the other Anon said I want someone who uses active listening. I do the same in turn for all of my friends, partner. It's basically where you ask open-ended questions. S asterisk only speaks that show you're engaged and listening and that you care. As an example, quote, I saw the Avengers yesterday. It was pretty good. Oh, cool. I saw the Avengers yesterday. It was pretty good. I liked it. Same. I really love all of Marvel's movies. My favorite is Iron Man. I really like when he... I saw the Avengers yesterday, oh cool, I haven't seen it yet, what did you like about it? Well, I really liked the way everything came together across so many different movies, and the way things end, I won't spoil it though. I also really thought the way they shot some of the scenes were cool. Are you planning to see it then? Yeah, I'm going this weekend, my favorite Marvel movie so far is Iron Man, I really like when he... Oh cool, yeah, I really like that part too. What did you think about how they handled first example shuts down any opportunity of conversation and or puts all the work on the person trying to initiate it? It shows hardcore disinterest. Second one is trying that but flips the conversation to what they want to talk about before the first person got to even discuss the thing they were hoping to talk about. The third one, despite not having seen a movie yet, still asks questions to listen and lets the other person say the piece before the first person picks up on the cue they've dropped and starts actively listening to them in turn. That is the ideal, and that is how all discussion and conversation should be, both serious discussions and more casual conversations. And you can still disagree in the context of this. It's fine to have discussions wherein you disagree but I want to be able to share my piece their money money eight pack and string jawline huge penis big muscles plus eight tenths face self-righteous tonight aren't we those hostilities aren't even undertones at this point btw you've insulted me personally almost every time i contribute to your threads I think it's funny that you just swing the scythe broadly out the gate at the entire community. Maybe you should find a hobby that relaxes you or a social activity where you're not exposed to a group of people you can't handle. When did you realize you're a woman? As an adult, probably when I got had my first job, my own house, and I started talking to my mom about how to file taxes, I did never really realize I was a woman in the sense of female, it's just something I always was. I wouldn't take her advice. This is the same fog who said women should act dumb to make men feel superior because men are fragile. What I've got to know is when or what makes the dialogue turn from give me the first lamest excuse to ditch this prospect and start out with every case can be salvaged we've just got to be on the same side. I already know a billion dollars. Let's ramp up the difficulty level now.
You've got to find the way to make the billion dollars together. Okay, go. I'm going to see asterisk on my girlfriend's tits without asking her tonight. Feminines what part of your body are you as insecure of as men are of their penises? All of it. The part that makes non-chads think it's okay to talk to me. Chill. Hey I'm not insecure with 3 inch destroyer and give a woman a mildly disappointing 2 minute long thrill ride that she will remember for a full 30 minutes afterwards. All genders, ok Cupid poll statistics a good thing to base your opinions on what women want. Yes, anyone who says otherwise can't handle the black pill. I think statistics are kind of stupid when it comes to finding a long term partner. Maybe they can give you a boost in terms of what makes many women attracted to you superficially but if you want something serious you're looking for one specific person and you want him to fit well with who you actually are. If you found all the same qualities in a man who was your looks match or just slightly below Chad you would completely ignore him and call him a creep. Chad only is an observation of your kind and it rings true 100% of the time. Not true at all, my ex-boyfriend WS asterisk caught and kind of chubby and balding. Face was average, we broke up because he did not want kids and I did. Before you say I left him for Chad, I think my current boyfriend is very attractive but he's not ripped or anything. Quote, I made the horrendous mistake of dating a non-Chad so I immediately ran into Chad's arms. I was with my ex for almost a decade and we split up on good terms because he realized he didn't want kids so. Aren't you glad you don't have kids with S asterisk tie genetics? I mostly want kids with a father who wants them and cherishes them. Do all women prefer to be in top with the clit rubbing on the partner's pelvis? No, it depends on the woman and the guy I love being on top but I can come easily from him being on top too. Where can I meet decent sensible people? Drugs aren't a lifestyle choice that appeals to me personally and it's much of what I see. Do see asterisk slaps even hurt? Does anyone use dating sites that aren't Tinder or Tinder with another name still? Is it worth making a profile for stuff like OK Cupid? I have no desire for anything casual and no desire to play the game of saying I have no desire for anything casual when everyone will s asterisk ume that isn't the case as it's tinder. I'm newly single and haven't tried online dating before. I feel like I've missed out on an opportunity with ok cupid and other more serious online dating. Girls, I'm clearly not in the right state of mind right now but that's exactly why I'm here I guess I really want to text her that I miss her. We've been seeing each other a bit but we're not official. How would this make you feel? I can't wait till I get to see her again. What time is it? Don't text her it at particularly awkward hours. Beyond that I miss you might be coming on too strong and imply emotions that are only just starting to or haven't yet formed. Be careful in how you choose to word this. Something better might be to focus on the positives or use COVID-19 as the easy excuse that it is I can't wait to take you to a place when things get back to normal or some such. Yeah it's 4.30 in the morning. I agree it's bad hours. How do you think I should word it to not be too strong? I'm probably gonna see her on Monday or Tuesday. Is cute if you want to wait but if you're looking to send her something there are ways to do so smoothly too. It really depends how close and serious you guys are and the sort of rapport you've already developed. Doing it in a flirtatious way or to get the ball rolling can't hurt you're both cooped up inside and social distancing if you know she's into video games for instance or wants to watch a particular show on Netflix for instance you could invite her to do those things. Hey I've been missing something you've done on your dates or a nickname for her or some sort of joke since we can't see each other for a while I thought it would be fun to something you can do online. I don't know your relationship and I'm bad at generalizing these things. It's easier to write specific don't say s asterisk to her when she hits you up reply with there you are it implies you have been thinking about her and missed her without sounding like a f asterisk hot chiad quote tfw she doesn't hit you up sad face 
If that happens then there was nothing there to begin with, problem solved I'm not here to give Simp Orbiter advice. Is cute if you want to wait but if you're looking to send her something there are ways to do so smoothly too. It really depends how close and serious you guys are and the sort of rapport you've already developed. Doing it in a flirtatious way or to get the ball rolling can't hurt you're both cooped up inside and social distancing if you know she's into video games for instance or wants to watch a particular show on Netflix for instance you could invite her to do those things. Hey, I've been missing something you've done on your dates or a nickname for her or some sort of joke since we can't see each other for a while I thought it would be fun to something you can do online. I don't know your relationship and I'm bad at generalizing these things. It's easier to write specific fix. Jesus get a balls go to her and tell her that you would like to get into wedlock with her and you really mean it. Real men is not ashamed to hide anything because men don't cry for nothing. When women sense uncertainty in you she cannot feel safe enough to give herself to you. Make sure that you are for her 100% stable less asterisk tone without doubt and execute your decision slight nothing can disturb. In your little flirt game it is she who taking real risk and she won't do that if you provide enough certainty, safety, stability, respect. Real men. How dare I ask a girl what her intentions are while being polite can't ask them out anymore due to corona otherwise I'd do that just to gauge interest and know whether to continue or cut contact. Anyone. If she wanted you she'd make it abundantly clear. Not him but please girls explain what you mean my abundantly clear when you give answers like that. She would constantly be talking to you or trying to be physically close to you. She would tell you to your face that she wants you. Once you watch how women communicate with Chad, it'll open your eyes. She used to do that went away, then started messaging me again. I just want to know if she's indirectly wanting me to continue things or is dumb and wants to just remain on talking terms when we have nothing in common. She's keeping you around as backup in case her higher prioritized chads don't pan out. I'd rather die drunk, depressed and desolately alone. Well it's not hard to just not message her back fuck I need to get a pet bird or something or why wish I could keep a pet and care for it well life ain't great. Sadly that's reality, do some calisthenics and watch anime, pets are good mates too, adjust to the loneliness now and it gets easier, hope is not for people like us. Yes do not trust into hope, it is forsaken in these lands. I've been alone my whole life, you either adjust to it and become stronger or you let it crush you, read books and learn a new language, women are garbage creatures who should be chained in breeding barns so don't let lack of attention from them affect you. You can be an accomplished person without them. I've been alone for 10 years and on, you don't adjust to it, you just keep on realizing the hole you dig yourself into is getting deeper. I've been alone my whole life. You either adjust to it and become stronger or you let it crush you. Read books and learn a new language. Women are garbage creatures who should be chained in breeding barns so don't let lack of attention from them affect you. You can be an accomplished person without them. If she wanted you, she'd make it abundantly clear. I'd rather die drunk, depressed and desolately alone. Well it's not hard to just not message her back fuck I need to get a pet bird or something or why wish I could keep a pet and care for it well life ain't great. Feminines, do you prefer the guy to ask before kissing you? Or should he be able to read the moment and do it on his own? Does asking kill the mood? <laughs>